my YouTube shopping friends. I have been just letting all of this stuff pile up and you should see my office. It is a giant mess. It's got, I've got piles of clothes everywhere. I look like I'm a hoarder. Maybe I really am, sort of. Anyway, um, I guess you're not a hoarder if you keep track of it all. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go with that. Um, and he, my name is Daryl, and I love to shop at the bins, and then I love to report back and show you what I got. So, um, as I said, I've taken uh, about a week off from doing a video, and um, so I'm ready to go and show you uh, all of my great buys. This was a hundred dollars and there is so much stuff here that I really don't know where to start. And so I'm just gonna start from the top and work my way through it. Um, the dress that I'm wearing is from um, Wilfred, I think. <laughs> Oops. Anyway, it's 100% silk and um, it's a, uh, it's a little above my natural waist here where the elastic is. And let's see if I can show you um, a little further down. There we go. Look, it's got these awesome pockets. And it is just so nice. It's perfect for summer. Um, and I paired it with these wonderful looking um, nude pumps and um, these are from um, mix number six and um, I've run comps on these are in beautiful shape gorgeous shape um, I've run comps on all of this stuff and so check it out it's this is how much stuff there is here there's three pages of it four pages of it uh, so let's get started. I'm going to um, show you the stuff that um, that I'm not going to put on. And um, let's see where we go. Shoes. Okay. These are from uh, Fabiana Filippi. Or Philip, Philippi. Philippi, I think it is. And... Um, I didn't notice when I got them that they were um, a, a size too big for me. Um, they have one of the um, things that hold the shoestring broken, so I don't know what I'm going to do about that. But aren't these awesome? These have a retail of around $750 when they first came out for your metallic gold tennis shoes. <laughs> I would have worn these with this dress. Oh, just perfect. Um, but too bad, I can't chop about an inch off the end of them. <laughs> and who doesn't need vintage Tupperware cups? <laughs> me, me, I need them. And as I've said to before, I've been running into a lot of um, Kate Spade pieces. Now this one's a little worn um, on the logo here, but uh, it's a great size. It's a crossbody bag and it is just the great perfect size um, for just the few things that you need when you're running around. So leather, pebbled leather. I'm going to put the comps um, in the video description at the end. Um, if I know them off the top of my head, I'll, I'll uh, rattle them off. <laughs> These I just love. These are called the Rita Sandal, and they're from Born. And um, they uh, have a cork footbed and uh, super comfortable in very good shape. And, um, and often this brand is thought of as a a comfort sandal but I think a lot of their stuff is nice looking it's not you know uh, stodgy looking <laughs> which I usually think comfort shoes are <laughs> and 
and last in the shoe category. This, these are from a brand called Yellow Box. And they're not a real pricey brand, but I think that the, the comps on them were like $50, uh, original price. It uh, looks like these came from Ross, and so they were probably discounted. Um, but I like them. They're sparkly, and they're really comfy. I got a lot of sweaters on this trip, and um, seeing that actually it's we're back to slightly cooler temperatures here again, I can put some of them on, and I will, but um, I'm going to show you some more of these right now. This is 100% cashmere. Um, I'm gonna call it a poncho sweater. It's from Bowden. And I think that it will be just wonderful to have you just feel this, the quality of this cashmere. It's just super soft. And this is from Vince. And this had something like a $350 retail. I can, don't quote me on that, but it's got short sleeves. I think somebody laundered it. It fits me okay. It's just not, it, it sort of has uh, that feel that where it's sort of felted a little bit. So I don't know exactly what's going on with that. As compared to this one, <laughs> this is a vintage brand and it's called McCulley's, but I didn't think that the, the cut was particularly vintage. I don't think it looks like a vintage style, but uh, it's uh, cashmere made in, in Scotland. And look at this gorgeous color. A couple more pieces here. I'm gonna pop this one on, just cause I love it. This is from Everlane. And um, what I love about it are the sleeves. See, they've got kind of a balloon sleeve. Let's see if I can stand up and show you. <laughs> I'm having to traverse the things <laughs> on the floor in here. <laughs> 100% cashmere. check this one out. This is from Cise. Um, the brand is C-T-S-E and um, they are generally known for their cashmere pieces but I just adore this. I never thought that those words would come out of my mouth. <laughs> it is 100% cashmere and isn't this just stunning? Uh, it's a vintage piece or it's, you know, probably 20 years old. And um, so I couldn't find any comps for it, but I just, oh. yeah. Okay, so now getting into the big guns. How does this do for you? Does that resonate? <laughs> This is a men's um, coat. And I think what it is, is the car coat. And it has a front zipper. It's in excellent, like new condition. And the hoodie is removable. And it zips. It's got the Burberry on the pockets. And the comps that I have run on this piece run between $900 and $1,000. <laughs> That's from the bins. And again, another just great piece here. This is from Lululemon. 
and uh, let's see what I can do. I can't remember if I tried this on or not. It's a, uh, a size too small for me, <laughs> which <laughs> I may just have for the whole world to see in a minute, right? <laughs> but this is new with tags. And it had, I think, a $228 original price. Let's get this guy back up here. Yeah, it's a little snug across the back and the shoulders, but it's okay. I might be able to live with it. <laughs> Is that a hood? And zippered pockets. So this is really a find. Couple more pieces and then let's get into the trying on and stuff. This is a top from a brand called um, ASM Anna. And I think it's more of a, um, well, it's a Chinese company, I believe. And um, I thought this was kind of cool and I think it's okay with the dress too. Check out the, the uh, sleeves. Here's the deal, this is a size extra small. So I imagine it's supposed to be a super oversized fit for a very extra small person, right? <laughs> um, but the color is good. And um, I think it's doable. I wear a 10 in a blazer. So... <laughs> And then this is from Wilfred. And it's uh, kind of a grandpa sweater, I guess. But again, with this dress, I just think it's so cute. I wish you could feel how soft this is. It's an alpaca blend. And uh, it has had a bunch of um, pills on it, but I've done gotten a good chunk of them off of there. And so they just, they just pull right off just like this. <laughs> Can you see them? <laughs> it's raining. <laughs> I didn't know so many things matched this dress. <laughs> I'm going to put this on with another dress too in just a second along with the shoes. This is from Young, Fabulous and Broke. And it's a um, uh, sweatshirt material with its quilting. Isn't that sweet? I put it in my pocket. <laughs> okay, now here we have um, just a jersey sleek dress from Eileen Fisher. And I have a couple of things that I'm going to pair it up with. I'm wearing it with the um, mix number six pumps. You can see. And here I'm ready to go on my trip with my weekender bag.
This is from Diane von Furstenberg Studio. Now, I'm generally not one about leopard print uh, on my body, but I can carry it in a bag super easily. Okie dokie, it's summertime. This dress is just awesome. This is from um, Joa Soft. And it has this um, oh, double layer of fabric here in the skirt area. And then it's this blouson um, top with the inset sleeves. Super cute. And um, it's a soft cotton, just easy to wear. Um, and I could probably top it with any one of the sweaters that I've got here, which I will do in a second. But I wanna show you these awesome shoes. These are from Dansko, believe it or not. And they are um, something like $128. But since I got these, I've been wearing them almost nonstop because they're so comfortable and um, they've just got a, enough of a heel to, um, <laughs> to balance off the proportions of a short dress. Um, so let me show you uh, this with this. I haven't ever put this on together, so we'll see what it looks like. This is from Margaret O'Leary, and it's 100% linen, and uh, it'll either work or it won't, right? <laughs> I usually like to wear this kind of stuff with, uh, um, with shorts. But I think this is okay. And I think, you know, if you were going to be out somewhere for the day, you might want to have a sweater with you. And this is just nice for summer. Super nice. This is a brand that has pretty hefty retail. The sweaters run about $300. So what else do I have to show you? Let's look in my little bag here again. I have this, which is just going to be a pajama top, I think. I don't know. It might be okay with shorts. It's from Target. And I love this. You know, with all the talking about the bees and saving the bees and bees are our friend. I do happen to believe that. We had some worker bees that um, lived on our back deck a couple of years ago, and we were really sad when we discovered that um, the blue jay had gotten in and, and destroyed their little habitat. So isn't this sweet? <laughs> it's a fairly hefty sweatshirt and a little bit warm for today. <laughs> I meet with a group of people once a week and I swear I am going to wear this one of these days <laughs> when I meet with them. It's, it's fine. I'm fine. Everything is fine. <laughs> you know what they say about when a woman says it's fine. <laughs> right. <laughs> Maybe it isn't. <laughs> this is uh, the always must have piece to get and it's a Madewell t-shirt and I love these and I love it, how they fit no matter what size they are. This is really much prettier. This is super cute really. It's from Zach and Rachel which you know, it's not a super pricey brand, but look at this pretty print. And this is a wardrobe must have. 
If I'd had some pants to put this on with, I would have done so. What I love is the ties at the shoulders, which makes it a lot more adjustable, um, especially if you're tall or, you know, have a long torso. So this will definitely go with me on my next vacation. This is from Free People. It might be Free People Intimately. Let's check. Yeah, Intimately Free People. In the retail, this one comes with its own, <laughs> $68. This is unfortunately not my size, it's Lululemon. And this piece, boy, this took some figuring out. I finally, I had to look online to see how it was supposed to go together. Um, but the brand is Jagger and Stone and it's a halter top and it laces up in the back and I'm not gonna attempt to show it to you. It's got an asymmetrical front and then it laces up in the back. And this had a $59 retail and I believe it was sold at Urban Outfitters. <laughs> I didn't notice what size these pants were when I bought them, this pair of shorts. They're from H&M and they are not my size. And I hope that they don't become my size either. <laughs> Not that there is anything wrong. You know, I say it time and time again that um, at the bins, if it fits you, it's your size. <laughs> I just thought these were super cute and they would have looked really nice with the blazer over the top of them. This is um, from a Portland company that does sustainable uh, textiles and it's called Bridge and Burn. Let's see if it's gonna... And I thought I might have been able to sneak my way into it, but it is just too narrow all the way through. Um, it's a size small and about a midi length. And these, uh, their pieces run about $128. And this is another piece, and I think this would look so sweet with some shorts. It's from a number of seasons ago, but it's all silk and the brand is Philip Lim. Yeah. 3.1 Philip Lim. And it's just this really light, the stretch jersey silk fabric. So that's it for now. Um, and I'm going to put on some other pieces and show you some of this other fantastic stuff I got. Alrighty. So. This is probably um, something that might be more of an evening or even a fall look, um, but, or vacation look maybe. I missed a, missed a button there. <laughs> there we go. And um, the top is from um, Banana Republic and it's a crepe polyester. And um, with a, back, the uh, racer back. And these pants are just awesome. They're a burnout velvet and they're from Anthropology. The brand is called Harolyn. And I've done the half tuck here with the top, although it looks okay. Um, I think with the, uh, I think it looks good out too. Um, Yeah, I just need some place to go. <laughs> okay. I am not a girl that is all about polka dots. I don't know what it is about them. They're just a little too frou-frou for me. Um, but I like this polka dot shirt for some weird reason. This is from J. Crew, And um, as you can see, it's got these ruffled sleeves and a halter top bit and it ties 
uh, in the back, which I probably could have tied it a little bit better, but, and um, it's new with tags. This sweater was a super duper find. Um, as you can see, it's got this gorgeous embroidery, um, tonal embroidery down both sides. It is 100% cashmere. And um, it has just kind of this easy fit here that you could just leave as is. Um, since I'm in winter mode here <laughs> with my <laughs> burnout velvet pants. Um, let's see what this does. And again, with my mix number six shoes, boy, these are coming in handy, aren't they? <laughs> All right, I have a slew of t-shirts. I swear, I have a pile this high of t-shirts that I'm gonna show you. And so um, most of them work just fine with these shorts. These are from Athleta. And I just love this color combination. Uh, I have to say too that I have worn these a number of times since I got them. <laughs> and the top is from Vince. And uh, I think it was like $225 for this piece. It's gorgeous cotton, beautiful cotton. And what I forgot to mention in uh, uh, with this cashmere sweater here is that it, the brand is um, Thay Skins Theory. Okay, so here we got the shorts again, and I didn't show you the shoes. I thought these went with it pretty good, right? And the top is from Michael Stars, and I'm going to use this kind of as a base piece so I can put some things on over the top of it. Um, but I love Michael Stars tees just for um, how easy they are to wear, how well they fit. And you can launder them time and time again, and they always look good. So this is the, uh, the Majestic Paris Slub Tee. And works a little bit better with the, uh, with the Michael Starr's top under it. It's kind of a wide neck here, as you can see, a bit of a wide scoop neck. Kind of hard for me to see in my phone what things look like. But this is a great Seattle look. You know, it's when you want to wear shorts, but it's 60 degrees out. <laughs> This piece is from Eileen Fisher, and it's missing its uh, tag up at the collar, at the neckline. Um, it's 100% linen, and uh, I know it's Eileen Fisher because of the um, um, we'd like our clothes back tag on the inside. <laughs> so let's see if I can get it on. Um, properly. Love this color. Isn't this coral pretty? And see, in this case, you would really want to have a shirt on under it because it's uh, pretty sheer. Whoa. There we go. Oh, these need some pockets. <laughs> okay, a couple more tops to go along with this. And uh, and then I we'll see we'll see where this road takes us. So this is the outfit that I put together the day I brought this all home. And I just kind of nabbed it all. And um, the shirt is from Nation. 
and they're rather pricey brand. They run upwards of $100. And this has a um, um, kind of a turned over piece here. So it's looks like it's tucked in. I didn't do that, honest. <laughs> so how could I not like this shirt? <laughs> it mimics the look of a half tuck. <laughs> and this piece is from Honeydew. And it is just a nice, easy fit with a inset sleeve and easy summer piece to wear. Um, Wear it over a swimsuit. I didn't realize how many things matched these shorts until I started putting them on. Um, this, this is a, a, a balloon sleeve sweatshirt. It's from Topshop. Cute, huh? And this again is a great piece uh, to wrap around your waist or to wear as is, wear over a t-shirt. And this is another top by Topshop. You may have noticed that I like these kinds of t-shirts. Um, I just think that they are comfortable and I think they're easy for most women to wear. Um, with the with the bit of a, um, a, a cut, a deeper cut through the neckline and slightly inset through the arms and um and i'm gonna put this on with this top this is from free people beach and i want you to see the texture of this isn't that awesome and again it's a piece with this balloon sleeve and um this is quite big <laughs> I have a piece of hair in my part here that doesn't know which way to go. <laughs> so, let's go this way. There we go. So it's getting toward the end of the day and it's getting chilly outside. And this is what you're gonna put on. So cozy. And uh, you can tie it around your waist, I think. <laughs> That's a lot of fabric here. A lot of fabric. But it's fine. You know, because you got the bulk of it. The bulk of it's right here where it's tied, so it's not... <laughs> this dress was a great find um this is from ula johnson and her pieces are uh, run on the pricey end um i saw comps for this for I don't even want to say what I saw it for. It was high, highly expensive. Um, but I just love the ease of this mini dress. It's got a little bit of embellishment right through here. And then the embroidery in through here. Let's see? And um, just really liking the shorter dresses for summer this year. Okay, um, I just wanted to show you, this is a Wilfred Free um, bodysuit. And so I'm gonna use this kind of as a base piece. And now I've paired it up with these Free People shorts and they have a button fly. And I love these. I like them so much that I already own them in two other colors. So, and so I was really happy. I knew what they were when I saw them in white. And so I nabbed them in a hurry. Um, I'm gonna show you this with a, a sweater because I just love this color combination for one thing. Um, the sweater is from a brand called 27 Miles Malibu. And um, I don't know that much about it. Um, 
but it's 100% cashmere. And um, as you can see, it has hoodie. I just, I love everything about it. I would wear this in a heartbeat. See, it's got this cable knit going on. I really scored on some of the sweaters. Um, this next one I'm going to show you is from Brochu Walker. And um, from what I can see in the comps, their pieces run about $385. Um, so I got two of them. I hope you don't mind me dressing in front of you. It's just a little bit faster than um, doing the edit in with so many pieces right now, I kind of want to get through them. Um, so check this out. And this is a beautiful cotton fabrication. And they have this ruching going up the side here. And uh, terrific piece, especially for around here. I imagine you can and do all of this. My goodness, it has like 5,000 knots in it. <laughs> Hello. My gosh, I think every time someone's put this on, they must have tied it in a knot. There we go. So let's see what that is. Yeah, see, you could do that if you'd like. Personally, I like it ruched up. Okay, and then this next one, technically I'm not sure, yeah, it'll go with the white. This one has a hoodie and then this uh, layered look. And again, it's um, a $385 retail. These are both size smalls too, so they're a pretty generous fit. Oh, this is cute. I hadn't tried this on with these shorts, and I told you I like the shorts, so I think everything looks good with them. <laughs> Hoodie, a necessity in Seattle. <laughs> it isn't very warm here today, but it's uh, it's warm if you're trying on sweaters. <laughs> so let's get on with some more of these t-shirts. Holy smokes, do I have a lot of them. Um, I think some I'm just going to show you outright. Um, there's no point in me really putting them on. This is from Madewell. And uh, just like the white ones, only yellow. <laughs> this is so sweet. I know my hair is doing something funny here. Um, this is from Madewell, and I love this. It's got a pink flamingo motif. And it's sort of a, a slim, slim fit, but... So I'm going to keep this on for a few minutes, and I'm going to show you a couple other pieces that I got. I think someone must have emptied their drawers of everything they ever bought at Zara and Urban Outfitters. Um, <clears throat> sadly, I can't wear a lot of this stuff, but I would try. <clears throat> mm. 
Um, this, this is, is from um, Express ribbed double V t-shirt. <clears throat> and this I just love. This is from um, uh, Wilfred. And it is a ruffle bodysuit. Ribbed. This piece is from Urban Outfitters. And it's a little more abbreviated than what I can get away with. <laughs> but it is so cute. It ties around the waist and it, and it stops just below the bust. And again, another piece, new with tags. Just an abbreviated crop top. This is from, um, I think it's from Free People. I'm not finding it at the moment. I think this is Intimately Free People. Richie. <laughs> and I love this piece. I might find a way to wear this just because it's just so poppin'. <laughs> Isn't that cute? This is from Zara. And it's a crochet knit. This would look so cute with a, um, like high-rise black pants. And then maybe a blazer that you carried around with you. <laughs> this is a bra from a brand called NYX and they run like $68 each. And then I have three tank tops from Urban Outfitters. Is it Urban Outfitters? No, Anthropology maybe. Sunday Best anyway. So I have one in green and I like these because look, they're not that short. So I could conceivably wear them. This one is in this pale pink and in gray. And the greener is, the green one is a heavier fabrication um, than the others. And then this is so sweet. This is from Zara. I'm not done. <laughs> this is um, another bodysuit and it has a faux wrap. There you can see that. And that's from Kendall and Kylie. Okay, this is the, this is from Zara and it's another bodysuit. And um, I just wanted to show you this because I love this cut through here. I just think it's awesome. And you can wear this with, um, of course, anything really. Um, these are old express white jeans with a cargo pocket. And um, I actually owned a pair of these. I don't even want to know how many years ago it was. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, I saw them and I thought, oh my gosh, they're really kind of looking good again. And so nabbed them. And I'm going to show you a couple other pieces here that um, maybe will go. Trying to get this all into one video. And um, with a $100 haul, it's a little bit crazy. It's a lot of pieces. Um, and I have a bunch of men's stuff, and I'm going to make those uh, into a separate video, I think. This is from Margaret O'Leary, and uh, the black is kind of obscuring the, the polo neckline here. This is a polo shirt, and it's a knit. And, oof, 
This would be so cute with these sandals. Can you just imagine them on my feet? <laughs> yeah, go ahead, go there. <laughs> this is um, Athleta. And just really cute. In fact, um, it has a little bit of wear, um, but I just thought that the, uh, the cut of it was so cute and so easy, easy breezy. These pants are, they're, they're a little bigger than what I would like them to be. And so they're not, I don't know. They're not looking as like I want them to look. Dang. But anyway, here is the, the detailing on the front of this. This is one of three t-shirts that I got from Velvet, um, which is um, uh, Spencer and Graham, or Graham and Spencer. Let's see. Yeah, Graham and Spencer. This is what the inside looks like. So I have this navy or uh, this black v-neck slub. This is this olive and it's sort of a slub fabrication. It has some linen in it. It's really, really soft and comfortable. And I think my pants have decided to come undone. And um, and then also a scoop neck in navy blue. And these run generally uh, about $80, I think, maybe a bit higher. So this is a lightweight, really nice cotton shirt from Eileen and Frankie. And I've paired it up with the Zara crop top here and left it open so it's a little bit easy and breezy. Um, it's got a nice tunic length. You can wear it as a jacket alternative, a summer jacket. And it's in this gorgeous slate blue color. So this is another one of these brands that if you don't know about them, you just would right, go right past it. Um, I love the longer sleeve length on it. And I, I love the easy fit here that um, I just really like it. The brand is called Goldie. And it again is a premium, premium t-shirt kind of along the likes with the Velvet and the Nation brands. So I got two t-shirts that are kind of like this and I love these slub linen tees for summer. Um, this one I think is Banana Republic, let me tell you here. Um, Cause this one's almost identical to it. Yeah, so um, this one is Joa. And this one is Banana Republic, and they are both this uh, slub linen configuration. And I love the white on white always. And speaking of white on white, this is a t-shirt from Stateside. I'm going to work toward wrapping this up a bit. <laughs> You don't need to see 5,000 t-shirts. This is from Everlane. <laughs> and then these, I haven't even tried them on, but I think I'm going to really like them. Um, they're from TNA, which is from uh, Aritzia. And they're a uh, skin-toned colored legging, which I think they'll be fun to play around with. So just a couple more pieces. And uh, I think I kind of missed my athletic wear window here. So this is from Lululemon. 
and it's the their pleated tennis skirt. My size. And a uh, couple more skirts and then that's it, folks. Can't believe it. So this is a skirt from Anthropology. The brand is called Porridge. And I have to say all of this is a little bit oversized, um, but it's, I thought that the color combination was good. And I like the, the half tuck sweater with the, the fuller skirt. Um, I also had tried it and it looked really super cute with, um, with this sweatshirt as well. Just kind of downplayed the, the girliness of the skirt. So this is the Free People um, sweatshirt. But I, I love the shirt, the skirt. I think it's sweet. And I think it would probably look just as well with um, maybe a t-shirt. Okay, last couple of pieces here. This is an awesome top. This is from Madewell. And it's all over stretch knit with these longer sleeves. And again with the, uh, the anthropology skirt. And I wanted to show you this anthropology skirt. This is from Leaf's Daughter. And it's made up of these mini pleats. It had a little belt that ran through here that I did not get, <laughs> but it works just fine. And um, this top here, another slub top, long sleeves from Vince. This is really cute on. I just didn't have any ivory things today. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't usually pick things up from this brand, Soft Surroundings, but I liked this. I liked the gauze and I liked the, um, the, uh, the vibe. It's just this loose summer gauze stuff. Another t-shirt from Everlane. And last of all, another t-shirt from Nation. And this is a heavier one. Just like this, and it has balloon sleeves. And this one had a slightly higher retail. Uh, I can't tell you what it is off the top of my head, but. Um, so there you have it. That's $100 worth of stuff from the bins. And, um, uh, we made it through. <gasps> and now I have two more hauls that I need to show you, plus all my men's stuff. And so keep an eye out and uh, subscribe if you haven't. And uh, thanks, everybody. We'll see you next time. Now let's see if my video turns off <laughs> when I click it.